Good evening, everyone. It is Mike MY170, and tonight we're gonna be playing some more Pokemon Heart Gold. Uh, last time we got all the Kanto gym badges. We got Entei, Suicune, and well, no, well, no, we got Suicune and Latias, and did some other stuff. And now we got some other legendary. We got something. We're gonna do some more legendary catching. But before we do, um. I want to head back to the- I want to wrap up some of this. Also, I leveled up some of my Pokemon, as you might see. I have leveled some of them up. So, I'll definitely show them up. Before we do anything else, I want to- Oh wait, actually I forgot. If we're going to Mount Mortar, I need to leave an empty spot in my party. I bought a lot of- so, I almost forgot. Alright, yes, yeah. so over here is another entrance. I believe we have to go up this waterfall. I think this is the way we gotta go. And I think there's something over here. Yeah, here we go. There's more stuff here. Alright, there's a trainer there we can fight. And I'm gonna- you know what? I'm gonna put out Heracross, because Heracross, I taught it Stone Edge via- I did some of the Battle Frontier off screen to get enough BP for it to learn Stone Edge, so that way it has a better move than Rock Tomb. Anyway, um... Let's, um... Let's fight with it, yeah. And it's one level away from learning a move I really wanted to get, which makes me really excited. <laughs> Poison point! Yes! Oh, you messed with the wrong- alright. Well, normally that would be nice, except, well, outside of battle, it's not so great. I better want to heal it off. Ooh, I thought I used some of my effort value items. Alright. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go around. Alright. I think I don't know if this is the area we're supposed to go. Oh, there's something over here. There's a ooh, rare candy! You know what? Let's use it. I'm gonna use this on Heracross because with this rare candy. Ooh, I actually have two of them. Heracross will be level 55. Which means it's gonna learn Mega Horn! The best bug move ever! Incredibly powerful, packs a punch, and the only drawback is its poor accuracy. I'm gonna finally get rid of Aerial Ace. Yeah! Alright, nice. Alright, yes, that was totally worth doing. Because that is something I wanted on Heracross for a while. Finally, it now has a bug move. Alright, let's see. Anything over here? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Oh, item. Item, item, item. Max potion, alright. I guess that's something, I guess. Doesn't look like there's anything else that's here. So why don't we just go back to that ladder down the other way? Hey, uh oh. Nope, nothing over here. Let's just go down that other ladder and see what's up there. Or down there, rather. I have a feeling there's something good. That's not good. Uh-oh. 
There we go. Let's see what we got. Item. Ultra Ball. Well, I guess that'll be good for our crusade later. We are definitely going to want to hold on to that. But for now, we're going to we're going to want to look around some more for some other stuff. Ooh, another hidden item. Carbos. Okay, that's good for increasing speed. It's a one way, so we can't go there. Oh, but there's something here. Hyper Potion. Okay, that's a good healing item. Big fan. There's some more stuff around here. Um, let's see. Oop, what's over here? Max Ether. Alright. Getting good items here. This, these are definitely good items to have. But there's something even better. Ooh. Full restore. All right. Oh, I was wondering when that would happen. Now I'm trying to think. Which way do I have to? Which way have I not gone yet? That is the stairs from whence I came. Hello, Ivy Mylan my Ivy Oh my god, this is a this is a that's a long one to say. Hello. Glad to have you here. Ivy Mylena Oh All right. Ivy Mylan and Ivy, okay, okay, I'll do that. Okay, good. Yeah, I like saying the names. Th nice to have you here. Yes, I'm looking. I yeah, right now we are in Mount Mortar. I am trying to um, because there's as you may know if you've played this game, there's something good here. Malina, okay. Whew, that's a uh, long one to say. All right, let's see. Is there something over? Oh, I already went this way. So the reason I am here is because there's a good Pokemon you can get here. I think I got everything that's in this room. Hang on. Oops. Yeah, good to yeah, good to have you here. Muffet's Muffet's pretty nice. Okay, I think I know what I have to do. Okay, this area we do not. Right. Oh jeez, I have to put my repel back. On. Yeah, if you want, you can shoot me a follow because I'm very close to hitting my 200 follower goal. I haven't. I got. I got a follow while I wasn't streaming, so that 196 is not accurate. I'm up to, um, 197 now. I would really appreciate it. Alright, hang on. I think I have to go back up that waterfall again. Oh, well, thanks. I actually just made new alerts, so I wanted to see them for the first time. I actually made new alerts, um... Yay! Thank you! I just made- I actually added new stuff. Thank you! I never. I... 
All right, awesome. We are now only two followers away. All right, let's see here. I believe I have to go... Oh, wait a minute. No, that is not the way to go. Nope, not there. I think I have to go in here. Here we go. All right, yeah, there's a bit of a maze here. It's all about the Pokemon here. All right, that's fine. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. I'm glad glad to help you. Out. Glad. Thanks for the the help, by the way. Okay, let me go this way and go up this way here. So a bunch of weaving pads. I think there's an item over there. Let's go get it. Ooh, TM40 Aerial Ace, the move we just got rid of on Heracross. That's not a bad move. It's, an, it's a flying move that always hits. So if you need something like that, that's a good, um, yeah, absolutely, you know, it's, it's glad you, glad to help, yeah. I typically do a lot of retro games, like, Muffin actually came to my stream, because, um, I met Muffin through another streamer as well, Silver Banjos, uh, who does a lot of Banjo-Kazooie speedruns, so, um, yeah, she's pretty cool, too. Which, Banjo-Tooie is the other game I'm streaming right now, I usually do that on Sundays and Mondays. That one I'm... That one's quite a trip, to say the least. Okay, here we go. We're making progress now. Alright, let's go in here. Ooh, and there's another item over there. Another item over here. An elixir! Oh, actually, actually, wait, wait, wait. A dragon skill yeah that's awesome thank you yeah banjo is a bit because I'm a bit new to because the original banjo I've played before but Tui I'm playing for the first time on stream so it's a bit overwhelming to say the least especially because last time I did grunty yet last night I did grunty industries which oh my god that is so freaking stressful all right here we go this is where we wanted to go this whole time there's an item over there that we cannot get yet, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, item, 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 item. An ether. That is very good. All right. All right hang on, that's not where we want to go. An iron, which is good for increasing defense. Hang on, there is a, there's something over this way. Oh, here you go. We're making more progress here. We got a max revive. There's another item over that way. Uh, over here is an iron ball. 
That is an item that you could give to a slower Pokemon, and it'll reduce their speed. Um, this is good if you're using the move Trick Room, because it'll make Pokemon go slower, and it's also a good item if you have the move Trick, which is an item that is a move that lets you swap items with an opponent in hopes of hindering them. So that's some, that's not, that is an item that has, um, some strategies with it. We're gonna want to go this way. And, let's see, I think we're getting close to where we need to go. Okay, that take. Okay, there we're in this room again. And what's in here? Ah, Max Revive. That is what we want. And now, uh, I'll put Cheddar out front. I want Cheddar to do some fighting. Let me see if there's any items near this guy. Hey, I'm the Karate King. I turn around. Battle with me. All right, let's do this. Let's battle the Karate King. His name is Gio. He has a Hitmonlee. Alright, nice. Okay, and his next Pokemon is Hitmonchan. Since we're very over-leveled for this part of the game, I think we got a good shot at this. Okay, I'm beaten! I'm crushed, my training is still not enough. Okay, yes. People, so, make you wanna make sure you have an empty slot in your party for this. You get a Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a Pokemon, it's a baby Pokemon. It evolves, it can evolve into three different Pokemon. It can evolve into Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee, and its evolution is dependent on which, um, stat it's higher in. If it's higher, if it has higher attack, it will evolve into a, um, it will evolve into Hitmonlee. If it evolves, if it has a higher defense, it evolves into Hitmonchan. However, its, it's attack and defense are equal, it evolves into Hitmontop, which is a more balanced Pokemon, which... Both, of, I mean, personally, Hitmonlee is probably my favorite, but Hitmontop is also pretty decent, too, if you know how to use it. It's probably the most, well, hmm. In terms of raw attack power, Hitmonlee is good, especially if you have one with the ability Reckless. Because then it could use High Jump Kick, which is a very, it's a pretty good move. And, um, it get I, I think it gets the boost from it? I don't know. I know, I think Reckless gives the boost to High Jump Kick. Anyway, now that we've done that, there's something else I want to do. Um, now there is a special event... Uh, another event I want to show that involves an exclusive Pokemon. We're going to head to the Ruins of Alf. Now, if you have the Pokemon Arceus, the god of all Pokemon, you can take it to the Ruins of Alf. We're going to want to take him there. I have this Arceus here. It's holding a row up there. This is, I have this Arceus here. Which, um... We're gonna want to put it out front, and I'll want—I'll get for alligator back. Yep, we're showing off some. Yeah, it's just an Arceus. Nothing wrong with that, because we're gonna head to the ruins of Alf. Actually, wait, hang on. Do I need an empty slot? I think I might need an empty slot for this. Here we go. There we go. Ouch! Are you okay? I was in a hurry, and sorry. Did I hurt you? No way, could it be a Pokemon from Sinnoh? The one they call Arceus? Could it be Arceus causing all this? I cannot explain it any other way. Arceus made a key to be solving the mystery of the unknown in the ruins of Alf? Can you come to the ruins of Alf with me? Please, you must! I'm trembling with excitement. I think something is about to happen. Is that Nick? Hey, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. We just finished Mount Mortar and now I got the. Uh, we're doing the Arceus event. Oh, cool. Alright, I've been studying the ruins for many years, but something feels different. Wow! The unknown pictures on the walls. It feels like they're staring at me. Uh-oh. What is this? There's something eerie that's making my legs shiver. I cannot stop them. Uh-oh. Ooh. Where are we now? 
Well, hello! It's so freezing, isn't it? For a youngster like you to be interested in the Sinjo ruins is not something we see every day. Take a look at them. From the design of the pillars of the Sinjo ruins, you can see that the cultures of Sinnoh and Johto have blended. What was I thinking? We don't need to be standing here. Why don't you come to the cabin around the corner for more discussion? So how exactly are people supposed to get here without that Arceus? You can't. Well, oh, I'm, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so as you can see... Oh, well, yeah, oh, not in-game, like, in-universe. I don't know. Probably find their way. Okay, okay, I don't want the... Oh, the radio is on. Oh, ooh, Buenos Paso. I'm gonna want to pay attention to this. <laughs> this, this is totally breaking up. Alright, the password is... Pikachu. Okay, but after this, we definitely want to head over there. Um, except now the... Oh, well, this is going to ruin the whole thing. We have to have a person at the cabin. Any trainer should know who she is. The famous trainer from Sinnoh? She's traveling around to study myths and ancient ruins. Isn't that something? I've... Okay, well, the radio music is kind of um, breaking up the tension here. All right, let's see. I guess so. Oh, I guess they give you a PC here anyway. My name is Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer. The Sinjo ruins remind me of Sinnoh, where I come from. Initially, I thought it was because it snows a lot here it was as well. But that was not it. A long time ago, people came from Sinnoh to live here. They must have built a temple here while longing for home. That's why we call these places the Sinjo ruins. You are a Pokemon trainer. I could sense strong power coming from your Pokeball. You know where else my power comes from? <laughs> I mean, honestly, Cynthia is my one of my Cynthia is probably my favorite champion. I feel a familiar presence, the power of Dialga, Palkia, or could it be Giratina? It's similar, but not quite the same. Have you got time? Oh, I got plenty of time with you, Cynthia. Can you come to the Sinjo ruins with me? Call your trainer's intuition. When you and your Pokemon step on that stage, something will happen. Ooh. All right. <laughs> hey, I don't want. Hey, I don't know, man. I want. I, I have to say, the music here is pretty cool. It kind of. It's. I. I guess it's a remix of the Mount Coronet theme from Platinum. All right. This is the mysterious state. The mysterious yeah, I thought the music was uh, familiar. The mythical stage built to show respect for Arceus. <coughs> it is said that when people celebrate its magnificent might with music and dance, some people in Jodo still pass down this tradition. The mystery stage allows a single Arceus and nothing else to get on stage. If you want to go up there, you have to deposit your other Pokemon in the PC box of the cabin. Oh. Oh, I think I have to... Wait. Oh, I guess... Oh, I think I have to deposit all of them. Okay. Alright, so let's do that. Alright. I guess that's a good okay. Cause I was worried. I thought I didn't realize that I had to have him. So let's just put everything away. I trained up a bunch of my Pokemon over the weekend too. Okay. And I did some other stuff as well. You probably all right. Let's just put all these guys away. All my Pokemon yeah, I are now. That I, I did wrench. I did level up some of my other Pokemon to higher levels now, so that way um, I'll be prepared. I see Chatter's uh, 53 now. And, uh... Yep. Oh, that I leveled up Heracross to level 55, so now it finally has Megahorn. I can't wait to use it. Nice. That is the best bug move in the game. Yeah, it's she officially has a bug move also. I know, yeah. So... Alright. Sent the mist. Okay, yep. Yep. Okay, we can go up. according to an ancient document, time, space, and antimatter, or what could be com combined we call the world, shall be born when Arceus stands on the mystery stage. This is where one might say the lead enters the mystery stage at last. All my study in ru of po ruins and Pokemon mythology and may have been to bring you up on this stage here today. <gasps> Depicted on the mystery stage of the Pokemon that shaped this world. The circle in the middle is Arceus, the origin of it all. This is the pattern that represents Palkia, the master of space and dimensions. This is the pattern that represents Dialga, the guardian of time. This is the pattern that represents Giratina, the ruler of the world that is on the opposite side of ours, the world of antimatter. Arceus has accepted you as a trainer. Arceus, having shaped the world, is said to have shown you a glimpse of its true power. The power of possibly making life appear out of nothing. It seems that something will happen when you choose one of the circles. You'll want to be well prepared. Alright, so, if you choose one of these, you'll either get an egg, which will hatch into either a Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina that start at level 1. Which one do you think I should? I mean, I'm not gonna use, but which one do you think I should pick? Let's see. I, pa Pearl was the first one I played in Generation Four, although I really, really liked Dialga. Dialga was awesome. I would personally pick Garatina, but uh, it's up to you. 
I mean, I'm not going to use it anyway. I'll go for Giratina. Now. Unknown. Well, of course, the unknowns can have the power to bring life to a Giratina, but all they can use is hidden power. <laughs> yeah. This song that's playing right now is the battle theme yeah. uh, for Arceus in uh, Diamond and Pearl. That is correct. Which, I think every time they've distributed Arceus, like, it was usually just they just give it to you. They don't, oh, these are all like stock images. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are all like very pix badly pixelated stock images that were completely... I know, right? The sequence goes on for a while, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh... Well, while we're here, we can talk and chat. Yeah, because I don't think... Yeah. The, like, there was an item that would make, um... Arceus appear at the Spear Pillar and make the Hall of Origin, but that item was never released. So, really, the only time they've ever distributed Arceus was usually, like, they just give it to you. Before, you'd have to catch the Legendary Pokemon, but nowadays they just give it to you. Yeah, see, I got mine in, uh, what was it, the, the, do, do you remember that, like, dream website that they used to dream have World, for Pokemon yeah. Black and White? That's how I got my Arceus. Yeah. It was level 100. Yep, I think I, I think I got that from my, mine too, yeah. Anyway. What's this? Oh. Mysterious round. All right, there we go. And now we have a Giratina. So you, I think you just get it now. It doesn't. All right. Which, all right. Uh, I'm not gonna give a nickname to it. Now the item that holds um, that shiny spear could it be an egg? Did we just witness the very moment an egg was brought to this world? A moment no one has ever seen. An egg is the cradle of a be every being. This planet itself is an egg in this sense. Life that comes from an egg will come to an end in due course. To begin anew. That might be what Arceus wants to show us. It's actually pronounced Arceus, but. Who actually pronounces it that? I think it's, uh, they pronounced it Arceus in the movie. Yeah, I think that's the official pronunciation, but who actually calls it that? Yeah, most people call it Arceus. I think that's what it was intended to be, but they, uh, if I read online correctly, they pronounced it Arceus, uh, they pronounced it as Arceus because in PAL region, uh, Arceus sounds too close to Arce. So, uh, which is that word for ass. Oh, are so. you all right? You disappeared right in front of me. I was so surprised. I see. The power of Arceus and Unknown affected each other to create a huge energy. With sending you the Sinjo ruins, Unknown, the ruins of Alpha and Arce Arceus. The mystery deepens. It is maybe even more inquisitive. I will one day solve all the mysteries. All right. Well, let's uh have a look at that Giratina that we just <clears> got. So, it comes with the Grisius Orb, which lets it change forms... Um, right now, I think this is the alt, the origin form, and if you take the Grisha Sword off, it becomes the, um... um altered form. Yeah. Altered form, yeah. It starts at level 1, which means if you... Which... Yeah, you're gonna have to turn it up a lot if you want to use it. But for now... Now that we have done all that, there is... Well, we got a lot to do tonight. Now we're gonna do what y'all came here for. First, let me just gather my... You should put my... in daycare. What? You should put the Giratina in daycare. Why? Just... Give the all-powerful, uh, all right. basically the Pokemon Devil, and just put it in daycare. <laughs> I like how in the later games you can just give it berries and just um, mess around with it. Anyway, um, let's just put this guy away and get all my other Pokemon.